What are the essential Excel skills for management consultants? Hi everyone, my name is Johannes and welcome to this channel. Welcome to Mastering Consulting. On this channel, I share my own learnings and experiences from my own current journey in management consulting to help you to become successful in consulting and also live a balanced life. And if you're new to this channel, then please make sure to subscribe to it. Also, please leave a thumb up. This will help you that you don't miss any new video here coming out. And today we have a very essential topic that many people ask me about. We will talk about the essential Excel skills as a management consultant. And why is Excel so important and why is this video so important? So basically, especially at the beginning of your career, you need to make sure that you know how to do two things. Okay, first of all, you need to know how to work in PowerPoint and how to work on presentations. And second, you need to know how to work in Excel. The reason for that is that especially at the beginning, your task will mainly be to support your team by preparing PowerPoint slides or preparing Excel files. Okay, this is very, very crucial. Of course, you will have many other tasks in consulting at the beginning as well, but like half of the time you will work with those two tools. So it's very important that you know what kind of skills you need, that you know what kinds of functions you should be aware of. And this is what we will cover today in this video. Today, I will give you an overview. Um, nevertheless, there is one important recommendation. Um, you have to um, know, of course, the theory, but you only learn Excel if you practice it. Okay, so try to get as much practice as possible wherever you have the opportunity and possibility to work on Excel models, maybe in university, maybe in a student club, maybe in an internship. Always try to, you know, um, uh, be the one who does the Excel work because this gives you some additional time where you can practice. Okay, so keep in mind. Theory is one, uh, one thing, but um, you only learn Excel if you practice, practice, practice. With that being said, I want to talk about three main essential skills and areas. And let's talk about the very first one at the beginning. And the first skill that you need to know and that you need to be aware of is that you learn how to prepare data. Okay, so usually if you ask uh, for data from your client, if you ask for data maybe from a database or if you get the data from a database, you very often get it in a very unstructured way. Okay, so the first task and the first skill set that you should know and that you should be aware of is the skill set of preparing data. And what does that mean um, uh, speaking more concre uh, concretely? So first of all, I would say the text to columns uh, function is very important. And this helps you to, um, you know, if you get an unstructured uh, structured data set, you bring it in a structured way in columns. Also, you should know how to use text manipulation formulas because very often um, the data or the text strings are not in a way that you want them to have. You should also know how to learn uh, or how to set up um, data tables. This will help you to um, get them in a nice format and analyze them. Yeah, you also have filtering and sorting functions. So this should be also something that you should be aware of. And of course, the big topic of pivot tables. So this is also essential. You know, this helps you to uh, slice and dice various um, data sets. And uh, this is definitely a core skill in consulting. And also you should know things like how to use data validation, for example. And this is, you know, just a, uh, a list of potential things that you should know. Uh, probably the most important ones, uh, in my opinion. Uh, there are other people who say probably that other things are also important, but uh, based on my experience, those are um, the most important uh, functions and skills that you should be aware of if we talk about preparing data. Then, of course, after you prepare the data, it's time for the next step, it's time for the next skill set. And this skill set is how to analyze data. And this is typically like the main work in consulting because this is typically where you build your models. This is, um, you know, where you really try to get um, uh, to the result of your analysis. And there are several functions or uh, function groups, so to say, that you should be aware of. First of all, there are the querying functions. Okay, so, so this are functions like some if, for example, you should be aware of th those. Then there are the logical functions like if functions. Okay. 
There are several other functions like if errors and uh, ifs and you know other variations of the um, if function. So this is summarized as, lo <coughs> as a logical function. You should also be aware of the lookup function. I know you shouldn't use them and uh, this is a topic for another video, but you should at least know how to use them because many people from controlling departments, accounting departments and so on use those functions. So be aware of the lookup functions. Then one thing you should take a look at and we will definitely uh, make another video about that is the index match and also the index match indirect function. Okay, so those are several basically those are three functions that you can combine together and if you do that you have a very very powerful uh, querying tool in your Excel um, file. And of course you know sometimes also array functions help. I think you know the most important one is the transpose uh, function because this helps you to prepare data for um, charts, for example, if you want to visualize something. And this is the second skill set, okay? Um, analyzing data, and those are probably the functions that are the most important ones. So be aware of them, okay? Know them and know how to use them, know how they work. Also know uh, when it makes sense to use them. So this is very, very important. And then the third skill set I wanna talk about is the last one, and this is to visualize the data, okay? Because after preparing it, after doing the analysis, it's always time to visualize the data. And there are several things that you should know. So first of all, you should definitely know how to work with basic charts. So there is a chart um, a function in or for um, um, a section in Excel. So be aware um, on how to use that. There are also some uh, basic formatting rules, for example, like um, you know removing grid lines, um, you know how to um, uh, highlight input cells, for example. Uh, so this is just basic stuff that you should also be aware of. Then you should know how to work with custom formats. So if you talk about number formatting, then you should be aware of you know um, how to format numbers and also how to apply custom formatting because this will help you if you want to display a number in a certain way. And of course, you know, conditional formatting and so, uh, and, and so on. So those are also very important functions in Excel. And this is what I would consider to be the most important functions if we talk about data visualization. Now, many people ask probably, okay, you know, what about um, um, other stuff like Goal Seeker, you know, like a, a Visual Basics, for example. Do I need to know that if I want to go into consulting? And I would definitely say that with those uh, three skill sets that I just uh, um, introduced to you, if you know all of that stuff, you will be prepared for like 80 to 90% of the Excel work that you do as a management consultant, okay? Of course, you know, um, there are always um, the projects and the tasks, but you have to do some more special topics, some more sophisticated Excel work. But believe me, do the other stuff first, be really strong on them, and then if you have time or if there is an opportunity to learn um, the special topics, you can focus on them, okay? So what are special topics? For example, those are sensitivity tables. This uh, helps you sometimes if you work in a business case and want to uh, check out the sensitivity of certain assumptions. Then you also can use the goal seeker function um, if you are looking um, for a certain value in a formula, then the solver also helps. And of course, you can use uh, power pivots and power queries if you uh, work with large amount of data. And of course, visual basics if you want to program your own um, little functions. But again, I would say that, you know, if you focus on um, the most important stuff in data preparation, if you focus on the most important stuff in data analysis, and then also on the most important stuff that I talk about in data visualization, this will be certainly a very, very good foundation for your work as a management consultant and this is certainly you know will prepare you for 80 to 90 percent of your work so with that being said if you want to know more about excel skills in management consultant uh, consulting then please leave a comment and let me know what you want to know uh, um, um, about and i will do a video about it with that being said if this brought value to you then please Subscribe to this channel, also leave a thumb up. This will help you that you don't miss any new video. And with that being said, I hope you have a very successful day. Talk to you soon. Goodbye, Johannes.